This is the solution to quiz 10. Okay. So, uh, fine. So then when x is between 0 and 3 but not including 3, we get this definition. So, one and two will get red values. So if we plug those in, uh, plug in zero, uh, we'd get 10. If we plug in one, uh, we get seven. If we plug in two, uh, we get four. And then we can't plug in three, that's too big. Uh, these three to six, but not including six. Okay, uh, three, four, and five. So if we plug in three to this, uh, plugging in three, you get um, six minus one is. Five. So yeah, six minus one, and then plug in four, you get eight minus one is seven, and then you plug in mm, ten, you get nine. And then for all the rest of the values, we use this rule. Okay, so, and it's constant, so it's 5 everywhere. So 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Okay, so let's figure out what's what. So first off, this function changes its behavior at... Huh. There's a typo in this quiz. So that says 3, and that says 2. So <clears throat> we'll have to throw this question out because it's not right. OK, so then this, so from 0 to 3, this is a typo. and it will need to be uh, a 3. Okay, so between 3 and 6. That's fine. Okay, so then it changes its behavior at 3 and 6. So here's 3. x is 3, and here's x is 6. So then the red points occur at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So at 10. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and four. Then the green points occur at uh, five, seven, and nine. So one, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, seven. 
fine. So we'll need you to extend that up just a little bit. points all occur at 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So. Okay, so now let's connect the dots. So we can connect the red dots, and then this red function needs to be extended down to here, and that is open. So the green dots can be connected, and this needs to be extended, and that is open. So find the average rate of change of the function on the interval. So that is to say, I want you to evaluate mm, b of 2 minus b of negative 4 divided by 2 minus negative 4. So evaluate that. So, b of negative 4, if you plug in negative 4, that is 2 multiplied by negative 4 squared plus 5 multiplied by negative 4 minus 4. Okay, well, negative 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32. 32 minus 20 is 12 minus 4. Let's check that with the calculator. 2 times negative 4 squared plus 5 times negative 4 minus 4. 8. Very good. So B evaluated at 2. Well, that's 2 multiplied by 2 squared plus 5 multiplied by 2 minus 4. Well, that will be what? So that's 8 plus uh, 10 is 18 minus 4 is 14. Quick check on the calculator. Fourteen, good. So the answer that we're looking for is 14 minus 8 uh, divide by 2 minus negative 4, so divide by 6. 14 minus 8 is 6, and then divide by 6 uh, is 1. Okay, so then the equation of the secant line, uh, well, we know that the slope of the secant line is m equal to 1 from the previous exercise and then we know uh, a point on the secant line is either one of these so this point this right here is saying that the point negative 4 8 is on the secant line and this one is saying that the point 2 14 is on the secant line either one of those will do so we'll use x1, y1 is 2,14. So the equation is y minus 
y1 is equal to m multiplied by x minus x1, so y minus 14 is equal to 1 times x minus 2. So y is x minus 2 plus 14, so plus 12. Okay, so another plotting one. The endpoints look good. So between 0 and 4, we'll use the first definition. So 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then we won't use 4. Uh, fine. Then for the rest of them, we'll use the second definition. So that one, 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 that one. Okay. So if you plug in zero, you get plug in 1, you get 5. If you plug in 2, you get 7. If you plug in 3, you get 9, etc. Okay, so then for the green, if you plug in 4, that's negative 12 plus 23 uh, is 11. If you plug in 5, negative 15 plus 23, that's 8. And then 5. <coughs> and then 2. Negative 1. Negative 4. Negative 7. Negative 10. Is that right? Yes. Negative 13. Negative 16 negative 19. So the switchover occurs at 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. The red points, when you plug in 0 you get 3, and then Five, then seven, then nine, and this will need to be extended up to four, but open at four, so like this. So the red points look like that. Then the green points. At 4, it's 11. Well, that's 11. Let's check that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So that's actually a green point. And then mm, 2, 4, 6, 8, then 5, then 2, and it continues going down after that. So that's what the function looks like. Plot the secant line on 2 to 6. Okay, well, <clears throat> this is uh, 2. So that's 2. And this is 6. So the secant line is the line connecting that point and that point, those two points. So it is this. C 
secant. Find the uh, average rate of change. Okay, so for part D, the average rate of change is the slope of that line. Well, just counting then, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, change in x is 4, and 1, 2, but going down, the change of, in y is negative 2. So, that slope is change in y divided by change in x, negative 2 divided by 4, well that's negative half.